The Battle of Manila Bay was a decisive naval engagement that occurred on May 1, 1898, during the Spanish-American War. The U.S. Asiatic Squadron, under Commodore George Dewey, faced the Spanish Pacific Squadron, commanded by Admiral Patricio Montojo. The American fleet, consisting of four cruisers and two gunboats, significantly outgunned the Spanish forces, which included seven cruisers and one gunboat. Dewey's tactical finesse was clear, as he effectively utilized the superior range and firepower of his ships. His orders were to engage the enemy, in a manner that maximized American advantages while minimizing risks. Montojo's strategy to anchor his fleet in the shallow waters of Manila Bay exposed the Spanish flotilla to the full brunt of American firepower. The battle commenced at dawn with the famous command, you may fire when you are ready, Gridley. Within hours, the U.S. squadron had destroyed the entire Spanish force without losing a single ship. The excellent American marksmanship and maneuverability, combined with outdated Spanish ships, led to a lopsided victory. This battle marked a turning point in naval warfare, and signaled the emergence of the United States as a global power, effectively ending centuries of Spanish colonial rule in the Philippines. Following the initial barrage, the American squadron executed a series of devastating passes, with each volley crippling the Spanish defenses. Dewey temporarily withdrew to clear false reports of ammunition shortage, underscoring his command's effective communication and adaptability. In contrast to the beleaguered Spanish, upon resumption, the unrelenting U.S. firepower precipitated a swift collapse of the Spanish line. Montojo's efforts to reposition his remaining vessels proved futile as they were systematically sunk or captured. The decisive triumph for the United States ushered in the Treaty of Paris, ceding control of the Philippines to the Americans. This resounding victory underscored the significance of naval power and modernized military tactics in shaping international outcomes.